Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to a show I've not done in a while. My Game Monday with me, the Biscuit Boy. Today we are going to be playing Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, a game not many Ratchet and Clank fans show much love to, but I personally love this game. It came out originally for the PSP, but they also released it on PS2. It's designed to bridge the gap between the PS2 era and the future era on PS3 slash 4 slash 5 at this point. <laughs> um, I really enjoy this game. I don't know why it hasn't got as much love as the other games. I've played this game many, many times. As you'll see by my save files, I have you know, finished it multiple times, and that was what we just restarted on, but we're going to do that one now. Uh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do, and yeah. murdered today I swear clank I'm done with all that hero stuff now let somebody else save the universe and uh, I need a little me time if there is trouble then it is our duty to ensure that <sighs> Project? I'm doing a report on heroes, and I recognize you from the newspaper. You're Ratchet, right? Well, I see you have a knack for recognizing greatness. I was wondering if it would be possible to get some pictures of you doing some heroic action. Well, I would, but there's really not much heroic work to do around here. Oh, I can lift Clank over my head, though. How about that? I was thinking maybe you could fight some robots or something. I know where you could find them. I do have a massage scheduled in 15 minutes, but, uh... Oh, what the heck. <laughs> I could use a bit of exercise. Come on, buddy. Let's put on a good show for our little reporter here. I am going to regret this. You don't know the half of it, <laughs> Clang, buddy. You do not know the half of how much you're going to regret this. One thing I do like about this game is you start as basic Ratchet here. Like in just his basic go get a gear rather than being in some armor like previous games. Which is nice. Oh, the Genie, I'm getting flashbacks. I know this game way too well. The visual probably won't be the greatest for you guys or even for me right now because it's designed to be used on a much older TV. But there'll be some. Oh, I know that gun. There'll be some. Uh, like clipping at times and stuff, and I can't really help that. I'm sorry. Uh -oh, poor little crab crab. Hello, little girl. We should trust you. You're a very trustful little girl. Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil much, but that's my indication thing. <laughs> I also, I don't know, I just love the simpler time of these Ratchet and Clank games compared to the new ones. I do like the new ones, don't get me wrong, but there's something pure in simplicity. Press and hold the R1 button to crouch. Press X while crouching to do a high jump. I'm trying to swear audio, so there might be like a little bit of weird audio clipping where the characters in the game are saying off my mic for some reason. I will fix it in post, or if I didn't, edit this gear apology here. Or I will just be re recording this as well. This is my third attempt to record this, just so people know. I meant to record a lot of stuff today, and this is the first one, and it's three o'clock. 
So it shows how much I've dilly dallied and done other things and whatnot. Press the R1 button and X while running to do a long jump. Yeah, she is setting off the mic, isn't she, little bitch? Stop it! Let me see if I can fix that. I have fixed it by doing something extremely trippy here and I'm actually going to leave in all those audio problems. Obviously I'm, trying to, I'm going to try and edit them down so they don't sound as bad but I'm not just going to re-record all this just so I can show off my fix. I now have my TV playing through the Bluetooth in my ear and it's really trippy to me. Oh, balls. Um, it's so trip. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting all excited over it. Yeah, that's what she told me to do. Press and hold the L1 button to enter first person mode. Aim and fire at the target on the I've gate. I've only to got open my it. left ear in, so I'm not talking too loud on the mic. And it, it's proper trippy. I think I need to. Oh well, no, I never Press use that. I never use that mode. That mode's annoying. Mode. I hate it. Aim and fire at the target oh, I do not like having this the audio in my ear. It's too loud. And I can't turn it down, apparently. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> this is gonna have so many problems in this video. <laughs> I mean, you're probably thinking, hey, Biff, get pause it and fix it. I'm trying. I started recording this at 3. It's 3.30. Now. <laughs> Press it by Try using the analog stick to select oh, the acid fuck. bomb glove. Dang it. I fell down. I do feel I want to get an old TV, like an old CRT TV. Because I have, like, all the PS2 games would just look so much better if I had it connected to the old CRT TV. Plus, there would be less input lag. I now have input and audio lag just to record this. <laughs> Is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know, I keep falling down. I'm trying to show off how amazing this game is, I'm not, I'm not doing a great job, am I? I did, I turned the game down a bit. But I don't know if that's helped or hindered things. Like, it's helped my ear. But it's probably made it worse for you guys. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, this is the best I'm going to do. We're just going to record this first episode and I'll edit it and deal with it. Let's just do this. <laughs> Say bye to Enter Biscuit, everyone. He won't be popping back in again. I hate the acid bombs. I don't know why I'm using them. This is the go-to. This is why every Ratchet and Clank starts you off with like a combustion style gun. It's because they just know how awesome it is. It's just so much better to use. I love how flimsy these robots look. Also, they're just holidaying robots. Like, they're clearly just on holiday. Yeah, they got like a boxing glove to defend themselves, but they're not doing anything. <laughs> they're very much just trying to live on their holiday, and I'm just like, yeah, let me just shoot you all to death. If you need more ammunition, try purchasing it at a oh, Gadgetron. Gadgetron. How you screw me over sometimes. <laughs> this recording is cursed. I'm gonna take a photo and future enemy biscuit is gonna add it. <laughs> Which is okay. Oh jeez, I was just I slowly just watched my mic um drop itself to the floor as if it's committing suicide. <laughs> just look, it just started. Right, this is getting released with all the problems that like came along with that you are all dealing with the problems like oh, i had to deal with the problem <laughs> we're doing this together we're suffering together baby Woo, this... <laughs> you want to curse me i'll oh, curse you <laughs> i don't have any ammo it's great let's just hit him with my wrench and not get any xp for any of my weapons 
Lucky we still get Ratchet XP. <laughs> oh look, ammo. Here, take my acid bomb. <laughs> Oh, that's it. The, the one in this isn't the combustor, it's the Lancernator, because I think this one turns into, like, a, a sniper rifle style weapon. And yet still, I'm having to use my wrench. Good old trusty wrench. I think this is a wrench matic like, 3000 at this point, I'm not sure. Or Omnimatic 3000. Omni-wrench 3000. Ooh, biscuit! Put out for me! <laughs> He's getting a lot of work, isn't he? <laughs> he probably hates me now. <laughs> I'm editing it. <laughs> I've lost my mind doing this. Oh, look, some armor. Just someone left it on the bridge. This is so lovely of them. Don't mind if I do. You found the wildfire body armor. So this is one of the many features of this game that I love that's not in many Ratchet and Clank games. Is this. You have sets of armor. Um, and if you get all of so the wildfire, and they do like damage reduction 5, but if you get all of the wildfire, you get flame abilities. And then there's an ice one, a poison one, something else, and something else, can't remember. But you can mix and match them as well. So you could, if you find the right combination of pieces, you can get one that's like... You throw it and it will create a fire mine or it will freeze your enemies and then put a wall of flame up. Like you can mix and match combinations of armor sets to get different things. And it's great. And it's a fantastic feature that this doesn't come back. And given Ratchet and Clank has a lot of awesome features like look all the weapons you can upgrade because of all the points and you get all these unique gadgets and stuff. The fact that the armor thing doesn't come back irks me. It's amazing. Also quickly go to the specials. I don't have any of the cheats and... Look at all the skins. <laughs> um, so, I'm just checking something. There uh, should... No, he's not here. He's not here! I think you have to unlock him for a cheat. The um, the boy who's in all the Ratchet and Clank games is not here. Also, anyone who has this on PSP and PS2, put your PSP in... Your, no, put, don't put it in your PS2. It's not going to work. Can't physically do that. Not going to work, right? <laughs> USB attach your PSP to your PS2 and you unlock some uh, exclusive skins and weapons and armor I believe wow that was super I can't wait to show everyone the pictures Quark Clank what a coincidence what are you doing here I am trailing Ratchet and Clank to see what they are doing, so I can join in on their next adventure. Hey, that's what I'm doing! D -d -d no, wait, I, I mean, I, 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 uh... Do you not have somewhere else to go? Home to your family, perhaps? Hey, Cork. Nice hat. <laughs> Sorry, Cork. What? Was that your mother's hat or something? Seriously, dude. It's just a hat. It's not that. It's my mother and father. I never knew my family. I was given up for adoption as a baby and was raised by monkeys. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing. Perhaps you should attempt to find your real parents. There she is. Get her. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be late for my massage. Let's go. Oh, gee, she might not be some sweet innocent girl. Also, that's quite an interesting thing that Quark says he's raised by monkeys, because in the last game before this one, three, Quark uh, loses his memories, or his mind, one of the two, and goes and lives with like a um, one eyed monkey species, which I just realized he doesn't. The one eyed monkey, I can't remember his name. Job to edit to biscuit. <laughs> I've gone full on meta on this one. I've lost my mind. I don't know what's going on. Um, he doesn't appear in the later games, which is kind of sad. I guess it's because we go to a different galaxy in the future series, but then Quark shows up, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure. I know Nefarious shows up, which makes me think Quark's going to show up. Because they go hand in hand, Cork and the various. I don't know how I'm gonna uh, um, 
and we get an F of Baba Doopa Doos. And it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I don't know how I'm going to edit these episodes together. Possibly like a, uh, a planet, an episode, but then Ratchet Clank has a lot of like backtracking the planets to get collectibles and unlockables and oh we've gone to this planet but we actually need a part and oh that's actually on that planet and I don't know I do not know I know I'm gonna have a fun time figuring out how to do the um everything on this episode okay so the bluetooth uh, solution I came up with is cutting out sometimes so the audio is going for me but it's fine for you guys <laughs> that's all that matters oh I died because I was just distracted by the lack of audio that's why no other reason uh, where is where's the button I'm looking for there is it strafe I've not been strafing that's probably why Like this. They look like Quark, don't they? They look like Quark's robots. They're not his robots, but they look like him. Like, they're, they're green. <laughs> this is what I mean, they're green. And Quark, Quark's colour scheme is green, so I would say they're his robots. But yeah, look, she's not an innocent little girl. She's got robots chasing after her. Can I own acid her, so I wonder? You can run up magnetic surprises. Oh, can I? I don't know that. <laughs> I don't have ammo again, game. Like, what? what is with this one? Low ammo, I've noticed. It's like, uh, wrench time, baby. Smashy, smashy. I guess, uh, okay. I will say later on, like, the armors, some of them give us, like, a flaming wrench and stuff like that. So it does kind of make sense that they might want you to rely on your wrench a little bit. Secret? No! I missed it! <laughs> There's a thing round there. Hey, guess what, guys? I ha oh, no, I don't. I don't have to do that again. Oh, no. I do. <laughs> I do. I got eight by the fish. <laughs> we'll come back there. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Stop going well. We're back. I also leveled up our, um, that gun. No, I'm not gonna make that. I did the long jump again. That's how. We did it. Yeah! Whatever type of bolt this is in this one. Titanium. Oh, now we're gonna die. You got me! Oh, we got the titanium bolt. I'll cut back to the being on the zip line. Creepy spider head bots. Oh god, I ran out of ammo again. This one really makes you want to conserve your ammo. <laughs> this version of Red Duke Lang. Might be because it's a much shorter game compared to the other ones. Although I do find this one has more. It's a bit late to tell me about a strafing game. I will say this one has more replayability in my opinion, and you'll, you'll see why in later episodes. It's like stuff that make it worth your while. Let's grab these quickly so I have some armor. Fire wave gloves. Oh yeah, that... What I also like is that these things up your... Like how much damage you can take as well before health goes away. It's Like it's hard to... Oh, he's broken. Okay. Hello. He's our friend. Let's smile for the camera. Ooh, yeah, grumpy boys. <laughs> grumpy boys. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> Again, I'm going weird on this one, you know. I know there's a skill point for killing all the seagulls, by the way. Just for anyone wondering. In most levels of Ratchet Clank that has any flying animal, there will be a skill point for killing it. I don't know if there's one for killing the fish. There should be. I hate that bloody fish. Yeah, I mean you. You know who you are. Oh god. 
Hello? Oh, you're going to drop robots at me, are you? Well, who can play at that game? Oh, no, wait, I can't. I don't have my robot yet. Can you lock on to them? <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, God. Why is that house on fire? Is that where we came from? Weird, the thing. Thank you, crab boys. What are we trying to do? We're just trying to get back to our ship? Oh, no, no, we're saving the little girl, aren't we? Yeah, sorry, I forgot about her. Right? Did you just shoot at each other, boys? <laughs> I think you need reprogramming or retraining. Oh, ammo boxes there, I could really go for those. And then I think this thing just goes, even if I get off of it. Oh, they're shooting the houses. That makes more sense. They don't need ammo training, they're fine. Oh, a bolt! I saw that. I didn't see that. Uh, I know I just said conflicting things there. Please ignore me. <laughs> this episode has, um... This is the first episode I'm meant to be recording today of many, and it's already broken my brain. It just... I don't know if that bodes well for me or not. That's a skill I had to learn when I was a child, the um, fire while you're flipping, so when you land there's no enemies where you're landing. It may sound really simple, but this is a useful skill to have in this game. I guess I'm meant to go up there, but what's this platform? Oh, I guess this is where my ship will be once I finish this world. Plank looks so bald on the back. It's looking around like, ah, oh, what's going on? Target acquired. Proceeding to Galadon. I can't believe we lost her. Why would they want a little girl? Hmm. I do not believe they were after her. I believe they were after this. Well, uh, this is, uh, uh... What is this? If my memory bank serves me correctly, I believe it is a Technomite artifact. Yeah, right. Seriously. What is it? It is a Technomite artifact. Look, Clank, that girl is in trouble and we can help her. Technomites are just some fairy story that parents tell their kids to explain how technology works. They don't really exist. I believe they do exist, and this could prove it. That is why those robots wanted that child to get this object. Did we? Did you? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was quite a jog. <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme! I haven't seen one of these since... Well, I've never actually seen one, but I've heard stories about the Technomites and their mystical objects. There are no Technomites! But this is our only lead. If you want to help that girl, we should follow the coordinates etched on the side. Fine. Let's get out of here. See ya, Quark, and please, stay out of our way this time. I'm gonna guess the yellow ship was Quark's, but I'm not sure, because it doesn't look like a Quark-style vehicle. <laughs> I'm just so curious to whose ship that was on there, up with ours. Rylus. I think that's how you say that. No, it weren't Quark's ship, because he's angled to ours. The Technomites appear to have abandoned this area. Yeah, the Technomites are real tricky that way. All right, let's get this over with. Where are we going? Well... I'd go that way. Well, that's just me. Oh, Quark. 
Why can't you just leave us alone? Look, I can help you. I've been here before. Do you know where we should take this object? Of course I do. But what's in it for me? You want to find your family, right? Uh-huh. Well, if you tell us where to go, you can stay here and use our ship's computer to research your family history. Ooh, great idea! I'll do it! Quark, where do we take the artifact? I'll try that big building. For some reason, the good stuff is always in the biggest buildings. Thanks, Quark. You've been helpful. How did he survive in space? With no mask. Now, oh, Quark, how did you do it? Where is he? What the? He's gone. Okay. These are weird crates. Oh, yeah, you need like a suit power up to do this. Well, I'm going to like end it here, I guess. Like save it, obviously, but we're going to end it here. <laughs> Thank you for watching this first episode of the return of My Game Monday. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed that episode, if you did please go down below and check me out elsewhere. Also a big thanks to the Biscuit Brown official friends, that is Jasper, Ask, Kitten and Kibby, they are all awesome and amazing, please go check them out too. Last but not least, big thank you to everyone who has supported me over on the Kofi slash coffee, because I say it wrong. <laughs>